talk to me about commercial property then. I mean, it's not something I've really ventured into. Mm. Um, I'm interested in learning more about it and certainly getting into it. Most of my friends that are involved in commercial keep saying to me, what on earth are you doing residential? You need to be coming over here to commercial where life is much easier. Yeah. Uh, and taking many more holidays as we were talking about earlier. <laughs> <laughs> they are stuck in residential. So, uh, well, a couple of key benefits should we look at of yeah. commercial. Um, I know you run a HMOs and you do serviced accommodation and the toilet gets blocked and your helpline gets a phone call saying, help, can you unblock the toilet? You know, we've got a problem. With my commercial tenants, they unblock the toilet because they pay for, repair and maintain everything on the building. They even go as far as insuring the building for me so I don't even pay for the insurance. Yeah. So what comes in the front door in rent stays in the pocket in rent and par paying tax. Yes, will be referred to as a FRI lease. So that's right. The responsibilities are effectively the tenants. Yeah, that's all repairing and insuring lease. Yeah, whereas the landlord in a residential would be responsible ordinarily for for these things. For everything. So you don't have those. Uh, all, they're almost very little management. Yeah, and so there's little management. There's little cost. I love legislation especially when it's stacked in my favour. Which isn't the case as a residential landlord. As a, as a residential landlord, the last statistic I heard was there was something like 184 bits of legislation you need to comply with. Commercial, it was the 1954 Landlord and Tenant Act. Hang on, how, how frequently did they update this? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so the law is stacked in the landlord's favour. Yeah. So an example being, let's say, a non-payment of rent. As a residential landlord, if you've got a tenant that's not paying rent, um, and they uh, either they're not able to or they don't want to pay rent, uh, you've got a bit of a challenge on your hands in terms of dealing mm. with that. How is that different than in commercial? In commercial, uh, we have the CRA recovery process, the commercial arrears recovery, and literally within 30 days, we can get the property back. Yeah. So you don't pay, we'll take it away. Yes, <laughs> Yeah, it sounds like a... a, a Not only that, we can go in and change the locks, and if there's goods in there, we can seize them as a lien yeah. to repay our rent. Yes. Which sounds crazy when you say it like that, because it's like unheard of. And so, oh, that happens. But I guess that's the reality. That's, that's the reality. It is. Yeah, yeah. And often you'll get a, a commercial tenant, and um, th with large co corporate organisations, uh, especially when they restructure and move people around, Sometimes they don't pay the bill because it slipped through the net. And it's good fun serving a notice on, you know, a, a major household name saying, we're taking you to court and we're seizing your goods. And you turn up at head office and serve a notice and they're like, huh? And they, they scramble like ants to try and solve the problem. <laughs> I'm guessing they get it sorted fairly quickly. Absolutely. Yeah. The money's in the bank by the afternoon. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I suppose it can happen. It can slip through the uh, slip through. The yeah, yeah. Earlier you mentioned about uh, the value of a commercial property. Uh, so it's based on the income, uh, which is what the tenant is paying. Yeah, so it's a multiple of that. Yeah. Uh, and if there's no tenant in it, or it's uh, unoccupied when you're acquiring it, the value is not going to be zero because it's no income, but it'll yeah. be significantly lower. Yeah. So give me an idea of in terms of uh, multiples, what would be reasonable of time mm. and tenants. Well, let, let me give you a bit more data on that as well. Um, last week, I was uh, chatting with a, a commercial surveyor. And to put another metric into this, just not to confuse it, but just to sort of show how the price of commercial is getting cheaper and rapidly cheaper, with each interest rate hike, the price of commercial property falls. Really? Wow. With each interest rate hike. Now, why does it fall? Commercial property is valued on a commercial metric, as I mentioned earlier. So if the interest rate is, uh, say, 4% and it moves up to 4.5%, people who invest in commercial property generally are people who are parking cash because it's the nearest closest thing to a government bond yeah. without too much effort so you're you're underwriting the strength the financial strength of the business that you put in there now if the interest that that's the the tenant's ability to be able to maintain that that's rent. right yeah so if you said is costa coffee going to be able to pay the rent 
Yeah, I pretty much think so. We look at their turnover, we look at their accounts, and we go, right, they've turned over several billion. Yeah, I think they'll be able to afford to pay the rent this year because my rent is less than 0.01% of their rent roll. Yeah. So you, you're looking at the financial strength in the same way you would credit assess a residential tenant, but you're doing it more on corporate accounts, market intelligence. You can scan the market for press releases and understand where a business is going, but also use your gut feel yes. in terms of, I don't think that business is going to be around in five years. And you can literally observe and predict what's going to happen and decide if they're going to be a tenant or not. Yeah, so this is this can be changes that happen in the market. Yeah. So your Woolworths, your Blockbusters, these have disappeared because they haven't kept up with the market. The I don't remember changing. them, Sad. No. No, well, you must we be a lot older than... We still have both on the high street here. You must be a lot older than me, Saj. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'm man. getting older, you're getting younger. That's what it is. Thank you. Hey, if you've enjoyed watching this clip, first of all, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you watch the full version on this link here on YouTube or alternatively listen to the audio version on Spotify, which the link is below.